Hey guys, Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a review for AVX, Avengers vs. X-Men, issue 5. So let's see what's going on with this issue. But before I start, uh, start talking about this issue, just want to say that I know I have my reviews up on a Thursday and usually have them up on a Saturday and Sunday, a little earlier. But um, I want to get my comic book reviews up. I have my topic video coming up soon and my segment video, um, a new segment. Um, coming up soon also, so that will be all today. And then um, on late Sunday, I will have a review for um, Young Justice, so don't worry, I'll have my Young Justice review up. And if Smallville comes out, I will have a, a review for Smallville. But let's start talking about Avengers vs. X-Men issue 5. So let's start talking about the cover. Um, I gotta say, I pretty much hated this cover. I mean, I like the art, but I, I was looking in, um, in my comic book store, looking for Avengers vs. X-Men, and I couldn't find it. You know, well, uh, yeah, I saw Avengers vs. X-Men, but where was issue 5? I, 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 this bird was covering the number, you know, the phoenix. So I was like, you know, this is not good for people to try and look for the issue. You know, you're going to totally miss that this was issue 5, because, it was, you know, phoenix was covering it. I know they're trying to have, you know, a cool style and a cool concept and a cool art, whatever. But really, if you're going to cover the most important thing, on the cover, which is the issue number, um, then it shouldn't be needed. And also, we have the Phoenix um, going into the Avengers. That never happens in this issue. So, um, if it was a different member of the team, maybe a different, well, not even a different member of the team, but a different team, maybe if it was the X Men, then uh, that would make a little bit more sense. But I will not spoil what happened in the end of this issue. But um, let's talk about what happened in this issue. Let's talk about the story. Um, so, Hope is uh, really close to the Phoenix. She's getting overpowered, and she's like, I can't do this. I mean, I've been preparing all my life for this, but finally when it came, I can't do this. You know, I I'm not strong enough. And then she's like, Wolverine, you have to kill me. I, I can't do this. And um, Wolverine's getting ready to kill her, but if you read the Wolverine and X-Men issue, which was a very good tie-in for this, he can't kill her. He's not strong enough to do it. He doesn't have the guts to do it. So you see that he's getting ready for it. Don't think he had the guts to do it. But we don't even find out because Cyclops, you know, hits him. And um, Wolverine wasn't able to kill Hope. And everyone's fighting, as usual, on this big moon. And Tony's getting uh, this machine ready. Iron Man's getting this machine ready. He tried to destroy the Phoenix. So uh, while everyone's fighting, Tony goes up. Destroy, tries to destroy the phoenix, but really just makes it bigger. Mix has uh, this explosion happen. And let's say that the phoenix does not control hope, but someone else. And I'm not going to say who, because it's a big cliffhanger for this act one. And um, let's just say I'm very happy for it. I feel like they deserve, the, they want the phoenix, I'm not going to say who. They want the phoenix, they can keep it. You know, don't get hope into it. But then they take hope anyways, so that doesn't make sense. But um, I think hope should have made her own decision in the end, but... Um, she didn't. You know, I think Hope really does not want to. In this issue, you can tell that Hope doesn't. I know she she has her destiny and everything, but she doesn't want this. She's just a kid. She she just wants to have, maybe not a normal life, but she knows she's the messiah and everything. But she doesn't want this. She knows she's not strong enough for this. And everyone's just kind of controlling her where she can't even control her own life. And she realizes that in this issue. So... Towards the end, I feel like the people that got the phoenix, alright, take the phoenix. But it should be interesting what happens because they have the phoenix. And are they going to give Hope the phoenix when she's ready? Um, I don't think Hope's going to even want the phoenix after this. But it should be interesting. And um, I have to say, this was the best issue so far for Avengers vs. X-Men. I haven't been liking this series. You guys probably know that. The first couple issues for my review, I ranted about this the whole time. But um, this issue was solid. I actually like Avengers vs. X-Men. Um, yeah, so I like the ending to this, and the story progressed. That's all you really need. You know, you just need to have a good story progression, and you can have a good event. And with each issue, especially for a, a event that has so many issues, just have really good story progression. Towards the end, you can have this amazing story. And finally, it, had, it took five issues, but finally they had a good story with story progression. And it worked. It did work. Um, and I really enjoyed this issue. And um, there was good narration. I think Matt actually did a really good job writing this. Um, again, hate John Romita Jr.'s art, but hopefully towards the end, um, he won't be doing the art. It's act two. We might have a new artist, hopefully. Um, yeah, so I didn't really like the art. It could have been better. But really, enjoyed this issue. It was good. I really liked it. 
I thought it was solid. I gave it four stars. This is solid. I'm excited that I actually like Avengers vs. X-Men. And I'm hoping it keeps to this pace. You know, keep to have story progression. I think that's a good thing. So, uh, definitely keep that. Um, again, actually pick up this issue. Don't have to pick up the last four. Pick up Wolverine and X-Men. The last issue of Wolverine and X-Men. Pick up this issue. Pick up issue zero, like I've been telling you guys to pick up that. Uh, pick up those three issues for this, and you'll actually enjoy Avengers vs. X-Men. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, solid issue. Very excited for that. And I'm excited for the next issue. See how this whole Phoenix thing and this whole story progresses. I'm very excited. So, uh, great end to Act 1. Again, I won't spoil, so pick up this issue. That way you could see who has the Phoenix and what happens in the end. So, uh, definitely. This is Comic Uno. I hope you guys enjoyed. And in the... In the description below will be a link for both my Twitters, for both my YouTube channels, uh, the Rand Situations, Comic Uno, which I have news about those videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this Comic Uno. I give this four stars, and I say pick up Avengers vs. X-Men issue 5. See you guys.